Hate comes out on the losing end at the University of Florida today. A big portion of the audience at white nationalist event turns out to be counter protesters who made it clear that bigots are not welcome in Gainesville. The white nationalists demanded to exercise their First Amendment right, and hundreds of thousands of tax dollars later, there was, there was security there so that they could. But the people who find their message to be vile and unacceptable know they have freedom of speech too, and they used it. While incredibly tense today, things had been fairly under control until a short time ago when someone fired a gun at a crowd. CBS 4's David Sutta is live for us in Gainesville. And David, what do we know about this alleged shooting? All right, so Gainesville police have given us an update, and basically they're saying this happened roughly a mile away from where the event was today. It was an argument between two groups. One shot was fired. No one was hit. And at this point, they're basically looking at this, trying to figure out if it is connected to today's event or something separate. That said, as you see behind me, the place is empty. Everyone, all of the protesters have left. The Florida Highway Patrol had 500 troopers stationed here today, and they are all packing up, going home. All in all a successful day outside uh, inside it was loud and perhaps not exactly the way Spencer thought it was going to go white supremacist Richard Spencer came to the University of Florida and got exactly what he asked for freedom of speech roughly 70% of the crowd invited in to hear him express their first amendment at the same time Spencer did essentially Inside the Phillips Performing Arts Center, a massive show of force held the peace. Giovanni Lucas, a UF student from Pembroke Pines, chose not to stay home. I think it's crazy that they actually let him on campus, but since he's here, he might as well stand up against what he has to say. The protesters were diverse. Why'd you come today? Because I'm a Jew. It was clear Spencer's supporters were outnumbered 100 to 1. They want to silence the message. Getting a ticket to the event wasn't an issue. There were plenty to go around. Spencer's organization picked who got in. It seemed almost random the way that they were doing it. They let some people of color in, but like not many. At the moment, I support his right to speak. I'm just here to see what happens. The program started with where the protest in Charlottesville seems to be off. By the time Spencer took the stage, he didn't stand a chance. The shouting was deafening, but he still had achieved what he came to do, elevating his platform on UF's dime with plenty of media attention. I'm not a racist in the sense that I hate people and I want to scream at them and so on. No, uh, in, in that cartoonish version of a racist, I'm absolutely not a racist. I do think that race is real, race matters, and race is the foundation of identity. And so they had uh, 700 tickets to distribute today. This is one of them. Uh, they handed me one to my photographer and myself as we were uh, headed in, and uh, they definitely didn't hand out. They did not fill up the room with all these. And I got to say, roughly 70% of that auditorium was filled with people that were basically trying to shout Spencer out of the University of Florida. There have been two arrests today. Uh, one involved a 34-year-old man that apparently was, uh, was arrested for violence, uh, but uh, was not uh, violent towards the police. Officers. The other person arrested a 28 year old man out of Orlando, apparently a security guard. There was a lot of media here today, and apparently the media, uh, one of the media outlets had hired a security guard who was carrying a weapon. It's illegal in the state of Florida to carry a weapon on a uh, uh, public campus, and so he was arrested on the spot uh, and taken away. Uh, there is very good news to report tonight with all of the law enforcement that we saw here a thousand, roughly a thousand people, maybe more. Uh, not a single officer, deputy, uh, hurt in all of this, which is uh, pretty remarkable to say uh, in the very least here. Well done on the part of law enforcement there in Gainesville, David. I know that this group, these white supremacists, they were anticipating, probably almost hoping uh, for, for crowds and protests and police, and they had a plan in place for their supporters for how to deal with that, right? Yeah, there was an expectation that there may not be a large crowd on the white supremacist side here. The reason for that is this was happening on a Thursday in the middle of the afternoon. Not a lot of people were going to be taking off work to travel to Gainesville to deal with this. In addition to that, there was a plan put out on the Daily Stormer, which is obviously a neo-Nazi uh, website, and they went uh, on that website. There was instructions for what they should do when they get here. It included things like they shouldn't uh, dress the part, that they should try 
try to blend in in all of this and that not to uh, end up in the area where the protests were taking place. They called it basically a trap. There was a, a plan uh, to actually do some sort of flash mob moves where they would show up at local Jewish centers, including uh, one here on campus. The address was actually publicized on the website. They wanted them to show up, make a big uh, to do, have people videotape it, get a lot of publicity, and then move on to another place and keep doing that. We haven't seen any videos posted, any reports of that happening. I can tell you the Jewish centers uh, here in Gainesville have been very responsive to what's going on. This is the largest Jewish population and the student population uh, in the country here at the University of Florida. And they have uh, actually, their approach to all this was uh, very open, very loving. They opened their doors and they stayed open from Wednesday. They stayed open all day today. They're staying uh, open tomorrow as well, welcoming anybody who feels that they need a safe place. Um, so that's one of the remarkable stories that happened here. At the bottom line, though, uh, good news out of Gainesville tonight. Uh, that doesn't appear to be very many injuries. Law enforcement did very well in all of this, and it looks like uh, we got away with uh, a very good situation here in Gainesville. Hate loses at the University of Florida. David, thank you very much.